Hi, my name is Olga and I'm so glad that you're here. Today's practice is going to be all about the upper back. So we're just going to target our spine, our shoulders and neck a little bit. Just to make it a little bit loose, a little bit, you know, spacious, to get rid of stiffness. So, whenever you're ready, just take a comfortable seat with a long strength, straight spine and close your eyes. Take a moment to tune in with your breath. Follow every inhale and every exhale. And see how it anchors you in this very present moment, here and now. And for this practice, just make sure that you are aware of every breath you take. And gently open your eyes. First asana we're going to be doing is Dandasana, which only means that you got to straighten your legs in front of you, activate your feet and legs, keep the straight spine. You can either put the little pillow underneath your bum or a blanket, or maybe just even fold the mat like this, just to help the pelvis tilt a little bit. So it's going to be easier for you to hold the straight back. So extend your legs, bend your knees a little bit if you need to. Make sure your shoulders are uh, dropped down, that your um, shoulder bl blades are in the sockets and that you're actually straightening your back all the way up like somebody would pull you through the head. And breathe. Seems like a very easy pose. But when you think about it, every muscle is engaged except of the arms, of course. But then you gotta keep your spine long and your legs engaged. Yeah, there is a little bit going on here. So breathe. Inhale and then exhale. And release. Now you can come back to the seated um, cross leg, seated position. And um, extend your arms to the sides. And then cross the arms right underneath. And give yourself a hug. Hold yourself onto the shoulders. And if you feel that it's enough, just maybe experiment with the with the elbows, maybe either higher or lower, just, just see whatever, space, whatever place needs some more space. But if you can, then entangle the, um, what is this? Um, hands, <laughs> yeah, so that's called eagle, eagle arms. And again, maybe up or down, to find your point, to find your stillness and breathe. Relax your jaw, relax your face, maybe bring a gentle smile with ease. And with an exhale, release. Again, extend your arms and another side. So the left underneath the right. And it's either on the shoulders, hands on the shoulders, or you want to 
do it again like this. And look for your height for, for the sweet point. It feels like you want to you want to move it, you want to stretch it a little bit. And breathe. Feel like your body expands with every breath. You can close your eyes to feel it a little bit more. Just tune into sensations. And with exhale, release. Now let's come on to our um, all fours to the tabletop position. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And we're gonna go through a few rounds of, of cat and cow. So with an inhale, you're gonna drop the belly in, uh, down and shift your gaze forward. And just Try to drop the belly as low as you can. And exhale. Round your spine till the pelvis and just drop your head loose. You can push through the shoulders even. And again, inhale. Look forward. Exhale, cat. Inhale, drop the belly, tilt the pelvis and look forward. And exhale, bring the belly button in, spine to the ceiling. And relax, find your center. Okay, now we're going to uh, go into the puppy pose. So make sure your uh, hips are still over the knees. And just try to walk forward with your hands. You want to place the forearms first on the mat and then place the forehead or even chest if you can. Do whatever feels right for your body. And breathe in. To make that um, asana more active you can um, put your arms on the onto the fingertips and feel your heart melting into the ground. Let the gravity do her thing. And breathe. Inhale and exhale. Gently pull yourself up a little bit and place the forearms again on the ground. And then place your belly on the mat. Gently. No rush, just with ease. So we're in a sphinx position right now. So make sure your elbows are underneath the shoulders, that the uh, palms are on the mat, flat on the mat, that your feet are relaxed. But if you feel any discomfort in the lower back, just widen your feet. Or just walk your hands to the front. But ideally, it should be under the shoulders. But do whatever you feel, uh, whatever you feel. And breathe in. We're trying to do not sink in, in shoulders, just keeping it up. Nice and easy. Relax your jaw, relaxed neck. 
easy breathing. Be gentle. And gently release. Try to pull yourself back up on your knees, but then just widen your knees uh, uh, to the width of your mat. Um, touch your big toes together and just come onto a child's pose. Walk your hands to the front. If you can't sit on your heels, just put the pillow underneath or a blanket. And just rest. Take a few deep breaths. And feel your body sinking in. It's a really good restful asana. Steady inhale and long exhale. Gently start to walk yourself back up. To the sitting, then put your uh, hips to the side on the ground, maybe the other side. Look, uh, move the feet in front of you, and then gently lay down vertebra by vertebra. So now we're gonna do the supported bridge, not the supported bridge, the bridge. <laughs> so make sure your um, feet are hip distance apart, and then as you lay down, make sure you can touch your heel with your middle finger. Okay, and now gently by tilting your pelvis, we're gonna lift the core up, hips up. And again, gently down, exhale. But don't put your hips all the way back down. And then up. And again down. Up. Inhale. And down. Exhale. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale all the way down. Okay, now we're gonna be placing our right feet onto our left knee. And we're gonna do the recline pigeon. So just grab your left leg underneath, interlace, interlace your fingers, and just gently pull the legs in to your, uh, to your chest. Make sure your um, spine, your lower spine is glued to the mat. So it's not like this, it's like this. Keeping it, keeping all spine on the ground. <laughs> all spine. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out. And exhale, lower it down and change the legs. Left heel onto the right knee. Interlace your fingers under the right leg and gently pull it in. Elbows close to your body, shoulders on the ground, just as much as you can without forcing 
with ease and uh, with a relaxed jaw, relaxed face. And breathe. And with an exhale, relax and step, put your foot back down. Now we're gonna put the right leg over the left leg. And then, wait, which, which way? This way, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's always confusing. So the right leg over the left knee, like you were sitting on the chair. And then gently pull the legs to the left. It's a twist. Keep the shoulders on the ground. You can bring the knees a little bit up and the hip a little bit more center to the mat. And look to the right side. And breathe in to that twist. With an inhale, bring, it, bring your legs gently to the center and now change. So the left leg over the right leg and gently move it to the right and look to the left. Just make sure your um, shoulder blades are on the ground and that you feel it in your spine and that it feels good. And breathe. And gently put an inhale, come back to the center and relax the legs. Bring them into your chest and just hug them really hard. And then release them into our final Shavasana. Wide legs, palms up to the sky. Just soft and relaxed body. Now notice your breath and your body. Notice if anything changed. Maybe you feel different. Without judging, just noticing. Move your fingers and toes. Take a deep breath in. And extend the arms over your head, extend the whole body. And exhale. Roll onto your side. And pull yourself gently, pull yourself back up to sitting.
bring your heart, bring your heart <laughs> into your heart. No, bring your arms into your heart center. And just find a moment of gratitude for your body, for your breath, and for your practice. Namaste. Thank you for being here with me today. And sorry for my <laughs> language mistakes. I'm still getting used to um, teaching in English, but it's getting better. <laughs> so I hope you like it. And if you did, please spread the word, share, subscribe, give a like, you know how it is. <laughs> and I hope to see you soon on the mat. So thank you. <laughs>